I'm making this video in response to a high school student who asked how to deny self in high school and is it okay to date girls and to play sports. If you're going to choose to follow Jesus in high school, you're going to have to count the cost of what it will be to follow him. If you follow Jesus, it's all about listening to him and not about being like other people. High school, more than any place I have been, is filled with all kinds of evil and temptations. You're going to have to be strong for Jesus. Just to tell you to be pure in high school would be like telling someone to jump in a fire without getting burned. It's actually impossible. But Jesus calls us to do things that are impossible, not things that are just hard or difficult. With Jesus, all things are possible. If you hold on to him, you'll be able to get through high school and continue to follow the Lord and keep enduring. About dating, Jesus is not against relationships, but he is against impurity. He is against unholiness. He is against sex before marriage. And most high schoolers are not in a pure relationship when they're dating. It's anything but pure. So ask yourself, is the relationship you're in really bringing you closer to Jesus? Or is it bringing you more into sin? The same with sports. Jesus isn't just against athletes, but he is against bad associations. For some, they can be a witness for Jesus and be on a sports team. But other, other high school students, as soon as they get into sports, they start acting like all the other players on the football team or on the soccer field and they totally lose any witness they ever had for Jesus. It's not for me to tell you if it's right to play sports or if it is right to be in a relationship with a girl. You need to go to Jesus about those things and ask him. Jesus is alive and he knows how to guide and lead anyone who goes before him and wants to just follow him. So I want to encourage you to actually have a prayer life to seek Jesus, and to do whatever he puts on your conscience. When you pray, listen with the ears of your conscience and not with your physical ears. It seems a mistake many people make is trying to hear God with their physical ears. And then they go and ask everyone else's opinion. But when you pray, listen with the ears of your conscience from the bottom of your soul, and whatever you're convicted to do by the Lord, then do that. Don't worry what anyone thinks of you, and make sure that you really count the cost for following Jesus, because in high school, every day will be a decision either to compromise or to keep following Jesus. You will have to be strong in the Lord and endure until the very end. I hope this helps you. May the grace of Jesus be with you.